another gorgeous day. They keep threatening us with rain, but when that sun comes out, it is bright and I'm enjoying every second of it. I'm also very excited about my transition into <laughs> what has been an in and out journey for me for years and years. Quite a while back, yeah, 10 years ago, I decided to take a completely uncharted course in my early 40s I discovered that in my quest for success that I kind of forgot about who I was and what I was here to do and I don't think I really understood even at that time what I was here to do but I did allow myself to be intercepted by the universe <laughs> like, and take me on little voyages. <laughs> and I've been on a few throughout my life. I have to laugh because if I was a cat, I would be getting close to that ninth life for sure. <laughs> but each and every segment has brought me closer to a purpose, at least. I never took the route that a lot of people took, and that was having kids. I did the get married thing, I did, really young. I married an older man, <laughs> quite a bit older. And from there, life just wasn't delivering what they told me it was going to deliver. In fact, I really started venturing into a path of independence, not meaning to in my personal life for as long as I have, but in professional life for sure. I'm a mover and a shaker and I don't have time to wait <laughs> around for other people. And honestly, I'm not looking for a consortium or acceptance in my ideas and what I do. I'm not. Everything that I do is 100% for my satisfaction. <laughs> it really is. And if it's for yours, fantastico, we're on the same page. I don't want to alter my presentation or the way I am or the way I dress or the message I deliver for anyone. No, I want you to come to your conclusions and push your boundaries. That's my thing. Before all of this Agenda 2030, solar radiation management madness, I was venturing on to a new path. And quite honestly, I always find myself back at health sovereignty and how that became a huge part of my life in my career, writing, publishing, marketing my own products. What I love is helping people get free of these systems that are built to confine you. And with all this madness and negativity, I know that this message now needs to be 
where I put my focus in helping empower people to take control of this stupidity. It goes beyond our health sovereignty, although that's going to be a big part of this. We need to learn how to heal ourselves. And instead of outsourcing what we need to harvest from within, life just gets a whole lot better and a whole lot more in our control. This next battle as Agenda 2030 goals, as its talons dig in, the call to taking care of oneself has never been greater. For example, me as an asthmatic, who knows when you have oxygen deprivation, having asthma, they usually put you under an oxygen tent. When I first heard that they were using ventilators for COVID, well, it didn't seem right. Not to mention the self-assessments all denote asthma symptoms. With my history of 50, 45 years of asthma, 47, I knew that that treatment wasn't a very good thing. And of course I've now been proven right. And so have many doctors been standing out to say it was entirely the wrong answer. 90% of people that go to the vent don't make it out. That's a fact. Knowing what we know about our government now, what we know about the health system, what we know about this charade. We can't possibly have trust in them again for anything, for a vaccine. We cannot. Their amendments, medications, we can't. Particularly in Canada when they're working with China for a vaccine. No. This is a time when we're going to have to become sovereign. And the ones that do, they're going to fare the best. I'm living proof of that in the last 10 years of my life where I've literally changed my entire physiology. And seriously put a dent in issues that were affecting my health and that I knew we're going to be a problem in the future. For me, the problem in the future wasn't as much the problem, but the fact that I would be in the clutches of public health, and that I don't want to ever be there. And this needs to be our goal. It really does. We are being psychologically abused. This is a fact. We are being pitted against each other. And they're ramming this through, whether we like it or not. And the way, and the only way to counter it is to go within and figure out how far you're willing to go to keep yourself out of that matrix. Now for me, I've been out of the matrix forever. <laughs> Never really been part of it. I've tried a few times and I've always found it wasn't for me. My greatest success truly has been on my own <laughs> in achieving joy and happiness, that's for sure. I know my methods work and I'm willing to bank on my methods more than their methods. I am. I don't want their involvement and it was because of that that I actually had to redefine my idea of success. We're all instilled with it from somewhere and it sticks. And for me, I always knew it wasn't the money 
that was going to rock my world. It wasn't. Although, I'd sure like some. <laughs> Which is why I am changing my format. Because we actually have to have all of those components operating to actually bring true relevance to what we're doing. And I'm ready to do that. My venture that I was getting off the ground before all this craziness was Thrive at 50. And this was last year. It didn't resonate with me 100% because it was me kind of going head to head with other people trying to teach people how to take better care of themselves. And that's never been my mission. My mission is to empower you to learn how to take care of yourself how to heal yourself. I don't want to deliver a program. That's not who I am. I believe the ones who are going to carry humanity forward are going to be the ones who use these unfortunate opportunities and turn them around. And let them help push us into not their model, our model, personally developed, derived, and executed. Humanity wasn't designed so that we could all be clones of one another. It was designed to interact with the earth with nature and the manipulation around us is only allowed to perpetuate when we perpetuate it and I say hey it's time to step back and again use what we've learned in these these periods of relative isolation and knowing it all let's start to manifest some positivity from it all and maybe even some greatness within each of us 